we want to find two unit vectors orthogonal to both vector v and vector w. So to do this, we'll first find the cross product of vector v and vector w. This will give us a vector that's orthogonal to both vector v and w. And then we'll normalize this vector to determine one unit vector that's orthogonal to both vector v and vector w. And then to find the second unit vector, we'll determine the unit vector in the opposite direction. Let's first look at this graphically. Vector v and vector w are graphed here in red and blue. We want to determine the two yellow vectors graphed here. Notice how the unit vectors are opposite vectors, but they're also both perpendicular to both the red vector and the blue vector, or vector v and vector w. So our first step will be to determine the cross product of vector v and w, and we'll set this up as a three by three determinant. So vector v cross with vector w is equal to the three by three determinant where the first row will be the unit vector i, the unit vector j, and the unit vector k. The second row will be the components of vector v, so we have four, negative one, two. The third row will be the components of vector w, which are zero, five, and one. And now to evaluate this determinant, we'll use the expansion by minors method given here, where this is equal to a two by two determinant times the unit vector i minus a two by two determinant times vector j plus a two by two determinant times vector k. And now we'll determine the elements in each two by two determinant. For this determinant, the elements will be determined by eliminating the row and column of vector i. So we'll eliminate row one and column one. So the elements are negative one, two, five, one. For this two by two determinant, we'll eliminate the row and column of vector j. So you eliminate row one, but now column two. So we have four, two, zero, one. And now for the elements here, we eliminate the row and column of vector k. So we eliminate row one, and column three. So we have four, negative one, zero, five. Now we'll evaluate each two by two determinant, and for a quick review, if this is our determinant, this will be equal to a times d minus b times c. So here we have one times negative one minus two times five. Well, one times negative one is negative one, and then minus two times five is 10. Then we have minus four times one minus two times zero. Four times one is four minus two times zero is zero times vector j plus, here we have four times five minus negative one times zero, which would be 20 minus zero times vector k. So our cross product, which we'll call vector a, would be equal to negative 11 i minus four j plus 20 k. Or in component form, we could say, we have an x component of negative 11, a y component of negative four, and a z component of 20. And now because vector a is our cross product, we know this vector is orthogonal to both vector v and vector w, and now we'll normalize this to find our first unit vector that's orthogonal to both vectors. Let's do this on the next slide. So for our next step, we'll determine the magnitude of vector A, which is equal to the square root of negative 11 squared plus negative four squared plus 20 squared, which is equal to the square root of 537, which doesn't simplify, 537, is equal to three times 179, 179 is prime. So the first unit vector, we'll call it vector u sub one, would be equal to vector a divided by the magnitude of vector a, which we can also write as one over the square root of 537 times vector a in component form would be negative 11 comma negative four comma 20. We could perform the scalar multiplication, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. 
And our second unit vector will be the unit vector in the opposite direction. So vector u sub two would be equal to the opposite of vector a divided by the magnitude of vector a, which we can write as negative one over the square root of 537 times vector a. Again, we could perform the scalar multiplication, but we'll leave it in this form. These would be the two unit vectors that would be orthogonal to both vector v and vector w. Which again, going back to our graph, would be the two unit vectors graphed here in yellow. Both vectors have a magnitude of one and are orthogonal or perpendicular to both the red vector and the blue vector. I hope you found this helpful.